Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So, in the previous class, we discussed about common bus system for four registers uh, using uh, multiplexers. So, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, tri-state logic. So, three-state bus buffer, we also call it as three-state bus buffer or we call it as tri-state logic output, so logic circuit. So, um, so in the previous uh, topic we discussed about a uh, common bus system using uh, four registers so there uh, we took four multiplexers okay so and four, uh, four multiplexers we selected based on the selection inputs four registers over there so if you have any doubt on that uh, please go through that video okay so that you will get a clarity so coming to tri state the name itself says here we have three states here so tri means three okay since we have multiple masters on a bus, we need tri-state logic for attachment to a bus so that each device can choose to drive or not drive the bus depending on whether it is the bus master for a given bus cycle. Okay, as we said that um, we have a, a clock cycle per single clock cycle, we need to transfer our information from one register to another register. So is that so, right? So uh, in this, so whether it is to be attached to bus or not. So who is going to decide that? Tri-state. Okay. So here we have three states here. So uh, tri-state logic prevents a bus conflict where one device is driving a signal to one and other device is driving it to zero at the same time generate high current through wires. Okay. So uh, what's the main benefit of uh, tri-state or uh, three-state bus buffer here? It prevents a bus conflict. So where one device is driving, uh, driving a signal to one. So when one device is trying for signal one, another device is trying for signal two at the same time. So uh, generates high current through wires. So in order to get rid of this problem, so uh, we use tri-state bus buffer or a three-state logic. Okay, so what is this tri-state logic here? The problem with connecting multiple normal outputs together on a bus is that each has to be in one logic state zero or the other one driving voltage on each bus signal high or low so uh, there should be no be uh, no two uh, one or zero at the same time either one should be there or zero uh, zero should be there this represents a conflict over the state of the signal so uh, to get rid of that problem as we said that we use price state logic so uh, if you see the diagrams here logically it will be like this it's like a diode so a uh, we get output a bar and we have an another input called enable here we have three states a and output a bar and enable so electrically uh, here we have given zero volts uh, plus five volts and the output here okay so uh, if you see that truth table here and we have two inputs right that enable and a so two inputs and the output will be a bar so enable a uh, zero 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 one in one zero we get 1, in 1, 1 we get 0 and the remaining states uh, basically we get the high impedance state. Okay, so uh, that's represented with Z. So the logical elements as output enable pin to go from a floating output to drive the output from the circuit. So inverters and buffers are used as bus drivers or buffers. So here uh, we use uh, bus drivers or buffers. Two such drivers or buffers in opposite directions are used to make the connection bidirectional. So you can see the diagram here. So device, bus, enable input and enable output and in, it's in vice versa direction. So uh, this is general uh, uh, logic and buses. You can see the diagram here, logical symbol for a three-state bus buffer. Uh, the inputs, uh, here we have a control signal. Uh, uh, here we have data A and the output Y which is not inverted and the control signal see you can see the uh, table also uh, inputs and output so if we have a low low we get low if we get low high we get high if we get high and x so x is a don't care condition so high and x we get z so as i said z is a high impedance state so l stands for low voltage level h stands for high voltage level so x equal to don't care and z equal to high impedance state so and this is the pin diagram for uh, three state logic and buses okay okay uh, bus lines with three state bu um, buffers so if you see here uh, 
Uh, we have a decoder, 2 into 4 decoder and we have two selection inputs. So we call it as ZW and we have an enable input. So uh, so 2 into 4 decoder, that means we provide two inputs and we get four outputs. So that is what decoder is all about. Okay, so uh, the two selection inputs are Z and W and uh, the decoder uh, outputs are D0, D1, D2, D3. So D0 goes to register uh, R0, D1 goes to register R1. D2, D2 for register R2, D3 for register R3 and we have an enable input. So all these represent the bus lines. So if you see three state bus buffer here, it's normal input A, control input C. So output equal to Y equal to A if C equal to 1. So uh, Y becomes A if C equal to 1. If at all C equal to 0, as I said that it goes to high imprint set that is Z. So if you see bus line with three state buff, uh, bus buffers, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3. And uh, we have two selection inputs S0, S1 and enable. So these are the three states here S0, S1 and enable. So if it is 0, 0 that A0 is selected and for 1 B0 is selected and for 2 C0 is selected and for 3 uh, D0 is selected. That means if selection inputs are 0, 0, A0 is selected, 0, 1, B0 is selected, 1, 0, C0 is selected and 1, 1, D0 is selected. This is the bus line for bit 0. Okay. So uh, this is all about uh, three state bus buffers. I hope you understood the concept. Okay. So uh, the students who are watching my channel for the first time, I request uh, please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends uh, and please uh, share my videos to your friends, WhatsApp groups who are studying in uh, other different colleges and please uh, support my channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.